talk about something we don't normally think of here in Arizona as happening, but it does. And we're talking about avalanches. And so the warnings for avalanches, they're nothing new for our highest elevations. However, this winter season, it's the first time one of our local National Weather Service offices is transmitting these avalanche warnings. Yeah, meteorologist Lauren Rainson shows us how the Flagstaff office is relaying life-saving information. Avalanche warnings are not new. They've been issued previously by the U.S. Forest Service and the Kachina Peaks Avalanche Center, which is up here in the Flagstaff area. Um, but this year, we've decided to team with them so that we will be dis disseminating the warnings. When conditions are right in Arizona's highest elevations, avalanches can occur. They don't happen too often, but when they do, it's usually in March and April. However, avalanches can occur later than April if snow is present. The backcountry of the San Francisco Peaks is where the National Weather Service in Flagstaff will descend disseminate avalanche warnings when needed. This will only be issued for the San Francisco Peaks and Kachina Peaks wilderness areas. And even though on the map, it's going to look like that includes places like Flagstaff and Williams and populated areas. Those aren't the places that are gonna see avalanche danger. These warnings are really geared towards folks going out into the backcountry. So folks that are skiing and recreating in the snow way out in the backcountry and most likely up in the higher elevations above areas like Flagstaff and Williams. And particularly, this does not apply to the snowball ski area. They have a very robust program in place for avalanche mitigation. Although Arizona averages zero to two avalanche warnings per season, public safety and awareness are always top of mind for meteorologists like Megan Taylor. Our goal is just to enhance public safety and bring a wider audience to this message and so that folks are aware of when conditions are very dangerous in the backcountry. For 12 News, I'm meteorologist Lauren Rainson.